Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 19, episode 4. Uh, let's see, so, we've reached the end of the season, and boy, did we have a score that just stood out. Um, new tactic, one game, a little early, to, but it's, it's, it's a new tactic here, old tactic for me. But uh, anyway, so we've kind of figured out what's going on. So we're in this third, Venezuelan third division. So they have all these groups, six teams. You play the other team, five teams, four times each, 20 games. And then you have the top team promoted, bottom team relegated. Fair enough. So what happens at that point is we go into the playoffs. So out of the eight divisions, you have the four playoff teams, and then they're broken into two groups of four. And then, hey, 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 quiet it down. And then, so if we look at our schedule, so we're going to play each team twice. You have a home leg and an away leg. Okay, so that's fair enough. And then... Let's see. Let's look at. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Uh, squad inbox training calendar. There we go. Absolutely. No, that ain't what I wanted. Home. Nope. I'm looking for. I know I saw it earlier. Calendar. There we are. No, that's. Wrong calendar. Schedule? Calendar, right there. All right, there we go. All right, so we have our home and away. The transfer window opens. Oh, okay, we have to go back to October. So there's our six games. And then we have... Advanced levels of playoffs. So then we go into the group of four group of two, and then the finals. So I don't know how many people get promoted. Let's see if the rules tell us anything. Promotion, B teams, top team, bottom team. I don't know. Only one team, maybe? Boy, if you only get one team promoted out of like, uh, we got eight divisions, six, 48 teams, and you only get one team promoted. Holy shit. That is an asinine percentage for promotion. God, I hope we get out this year. <laughs> I hope we get out. All right, so let's take a look at our schedule down the stretch. So let's see. We played Amazonas and Pinal. Yeah. All right, we lost 1-0. Well, we, yeah, we drew 3-3. That was the last match. Oh, God. We lost 1-0 to Tashira. Uh, Elsie Garcia scored and then got sent off. Uh, we were unable to make that up. Uh, El Nula, who got relegated, we beat 3-0. Salazar, Balasina, and Moreno with goals. Two goals in the, after the 90th minute. Uh, Academia, we beat 4-1. Robert uh, Raimondo Lunar with a brace. Moreno and Pena with another stoppage time goal. Then we broke out the new tactic, and that is not a typo. Nine to two. And remember, Amazonas finished third in the league. Moreno with a goal. Balasina with a brace. Morales with a brace. Lunar with a brace. Salazar and Moreno with goals. We also had our youth intake. So you're seeing, you know, which, let's go to the squad. So it looks like our grayed out guys get wiped out. And I don't, so they're no longer on the team. They're released as, you know, they're ghost players, basically. So as we signed younger players uh, off of our U squad, so now you can see we have a big U squad. And look at this shit. In fact, let's sort by age. Look at the potential for every single one of these 16 year olds that came in our youth division, in our youth uh, academy this year hello and this guy is a stud 
Well, Salazar, I already, I, I think I recruited him. No, he's new. Only three games. So these guys all came through our youth academy. And the email was so funny. It said that, th this, it said, don't say it too loud, but this could be the golden generation of football for our club. That's insane. And that's against guys, I mean, you know, we have Lunar that's already a five-star player. And they're all still five-star potential. Oh, my God. Too bad our training facilities suck. So hopefully we can get promoted and start making some money. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so let's see. Our hot prospect is Salazar, central defender. Doesn't have quite the bit of pace. Uh, 13 marking. He can actually defend somebody and tackle. Six foot three. There's some nice guys in there. Uh, who was the one? Yeah, Salazar. Salazar's there. That's okay. That's who we just looked at. But if we look, Moreno, he came in. He started three games. He's already got three goals. Physicals aren't really good. He's a good prospect, but he's doing a job for us. Who else? Uh, he's got one bench, one start. Uh, Johnny Pena. You know, I mean, these guys have a long way to go, but if somehow we can, in the next year or two, if we can up our training ability, these guys could get pretty good. Now, I am concerned that, you know, now they can be poached, but we've been signing a lot of them to contracts. Problem is, they're all on $3,700 a week. So if we look at finances, we're now spending $128 thousand dollars a year with a payroll budget of fifty five thousand dollars and we are losing our ass and the board is not happy about it <laughs> the board is not happy about it. now overall 58 percent secure transfers they're pretty happy leadership support tactics but they're devastated by the club finances and that is pulling this number way down. So I had started a director of football challenge earlier at, with the release of FM19. Basically, you've got to win and get promoted to be able to survive this because this happens, it looks like, all the time. Now, you guys know I've never made any secret that Loki Doki is the one that got me into, you know, I mean, I was piddling around with football manager, but... Uh, my youngest son had cancer a couple of years ago, and we were basically in the hospital for six months. And uh, so I started looking for stuff to do and came across his journeyman save and, you know, spent untold hours daily watching videos and catching up, you know, and, you know, having a 110 episode journeyman, you know, having two or three of those to catch up on. Uh, was very, uh, very helpful uh, to pass the time. And actually, uh, I posted on my Twitter feed, uh, I just had my 1300th video go up on my channel, basically in the last two years, uh, you know, because I started doing my channel as a regular thing with daily content uh, about two years ago. And, uh, you know, mainly because of him, you know, uh, seeing that you could do that and, and realizing, you know, that I could share my gaming experience, not with a whole lot of people, but, you know, hey, every every person is one more person. And if I can help someone pass time or get some enjoyment uh, in, in, in their day, like he gave me, you know, then that's, you know, that's all you could ask for. But anyway, uh, so we are in the playoffs. We do have seven days, so we'll be right back with the first match here in a second. All right, we are back. We are opening with UD Laura. Now, they uh, they finished fourth in Group B. Or no, they did not. They finished...
Let's see. They finished third in Group C behind two B teams. Uh, 21 points off the lead, 10 points out of second, eight wins, nine losses, three draws. So I think we've got a pretty good shot. Uh, we are even favorites, but we are favorites at home, calm. Um, I am going to go with the new tactic, which is this 4-4-2 uh, with two Segundo Volantes on attack. And if we start being underdogs, I actually have, there's another version of this where the left Volante drops into an anchor position. Um, so we'll see. Also, because now we have a full roster, I can pick using our guidelines. And that means you have to have at least 90%, which hasn't been an issue because we're getting two weeks off between matches, right? So we do need to work on training these guys. Uh, I will do that off camera or probably between episodes. So let's submit the team. They scored nine goals last outing. And... Uh, didn't appear any the worse for wear, but still, you'd like to start training them for those positions. All right, we're in the prison uniforms. I hate the vertical stripes, man. All right, kickoff highlight. Are we going to get something out of this? Andrade lumps it in, headed out. Barcelo lays it off to Moreno. Uh, lumped out. All right, Pineda. Uh, all right, Moreno comes, makes a run back to get that ball. Played forward. Headed away by the defense. Moreno picks it up. Into Lunar. Shoots from range. Tipped over by Gonzalez. Sets up a corner. Encourage. All right, I thought there might be a penalty there. Barcelo, back into the box. Oh, headed on by the mid or the striker. All right, Andrade. Copeland pulls in the header. Lays it off to Pineda. Oh, he drives it in. Can't beat the keeper to the near post. Look, we actually have fans. Uh, so according to the emails, we set a new record with wins. That's typical with this kind of save with, with a mod because the league didn't exist the year before uh, in the game. So that's how that goes. Um, but we also did a pretty good job. Copeland, oh, nice tackle away. Whoa, did you see the ball just come off that brick wall? Into the box, goes through. Oh, there's a nasty tackle. No card on that, huh? Get creative. Having a good game. We've got a few guys playing seven. All right, now we're getting some tickage on the clock. That's nice to see. I was hoping, and what I think I'm going to do is, as we play along, and I don't know how long I'll stay at Minnesota, uh, it'll depend on when we get job offers or what comes available. Uh, we did get our coaching badge during the season before we started losing money. <laughs> but, uh, oh, there's one into the box. Lunar puts it in near post. That's number 20 on the season. Beautiful, beautiful. It's been a while since I've had a 20-goal score. I'm pretty chuffed. Back in FM18 with this tactic, I had uh, several seasons with 30 or 40 goals plus. Never had a 50, but I, I, I did have a guy score 40, I think, in two seasons and 30-plus and in several seasons as well. Some unknown guys like James Wilson, Contreras. Oh, into the wall. Two minutes of stoppage time. Let's push forward. Curves in. Cleared out. 
Come on, boys. I'd like to be up more than one goal. Now, with this tactic, I do tend to lose possession more. I get the win, so I don't care uh, about possession. Uh, you know, the, the, the Women's World Cup is going on right now, and then the uh, the men, the men's national team for the U.S. is playing in the uh, Gold Cup. Uh, and so they are, you know, they played, the women play England tomorrow. I'll be pulling for the U.S., of course. And, uh, sorry. Uh, Aneda clears it out. Good. Um Jeez, the clock is running so slow. Uh, but anyway, long story short, what I think I'm going to do is when I do get promoted up to a, a new level, I think we're going to delete these lower levels just to try to speed the game up, you know. Uh, Lunar makes a nice play, breaks into the box, and Keeper taps it over the goal. Nice move. All right, another one into the box. Lunar, bunch of headers. Oh, he gave up on the ball. Who the hell is that? Salazar, you gave up on the ball. All right, there's a nice steal. Lunar lays it. Oh, you sack of shit. He didn't even look. Oh, my God. All right, Copeland. Moreno. Contreras and Solis maybe? With the, with all these new young players, I've got to get used to used to what's you know sub rotations and there's so many that are young though and they're all talented but oh nice knock away by Alarcon. All right, he plays it out to Pereira. Defense knocks it away. Now another set piece. Headed out, Pereira. Oh, that one was going in, I thought. When he was wide open, I said, there's a shot going in. All right, attacking mid right. How about we bring him in for Morales? Get creative. Pressured. Come on, guys. I'd like to have more than one home goal, but. Moreno. If we can get a clean sheet with no away goals, that's positive. All right, Pineda. Oh, hello, Stomp City. All right, Moreno with another try. Stalling for time. Headed out. Moreno taken down, cleared out. All right, where's our defense? Stolen by Marquez. Salazar plays it back. Andrade lumps it deep to the keeper. Trying to get that clock to wind, wind. And he sits on the ball. one nothing win on the home leg. We'll take that. Uh, yeah, it was disappointing. We could do much better. 
Oh, and we only get a couple of days off. Uh, interesting. So we're used to having like two weeks off. We're going to actually play in a week. Still enough time to recover. A thousand people at our home stadium. Look at that shit. 900 when the most we drew all year was fan day. And we drew th t not even 300. Plastics. Plastics. <laughs> All right, so Solus makes his debut. All right, well, we will be back uh, for the next match here in just a second. All right, we're back for our next playoff game. Uh, I think what we're going to do, well, we'll talk about it afterwards. So we're going to play Ortiz today. We are favored again. Uh, let's see, match preview. We're on the road. Favorites, it's cooling off, 78 degrees, late October. I wonder how cold it gets in, uh, in in Venezuela. It's pretty close to the equator, is it not? I wouldn't think it would ever get too, too cold. All right. Um, I think... A wide midfielder on attack... I forgot to do this a minute ago, so my, all right, so yeah, we're doing that, good, Marquez, midfielder right, wide midfielder on attack, thank you, Showing Wolf, let's train him. As a segundo volante, defensive mid, segundo volante on attack. You're doing okay. False nine support, striker, false nine, of course the position he plays worse than anything else and Contreras same issue false nine on support all right so we're good there all right let's submit the team showing wolf not a regular starter we've got a couple of suspended fellas Encourage the team. I'm going to give them the faith speech. See how they respond to that. A little bit of greenage. Oh, the yellow and black striper attack. Look up striper, the yellow and black attack, if you don't get the reference. 80s uh, rock band. Contreras. Oh, he put it in the near post. First goal of the season. What a set piece goal for him. Good job, young man. Beat the just bent it around the wall. I am liking that. All right, let's praise. Oh, hold on. Just thought about something. Okay, standard, no offsides, trap, in possession. All right, yep, that's good. Wasn't sure. I forgot to check that when I was doing that tactic. Come on, boys. So I think what we'll do is we'll play the next two games. Oh, Villa Zena. Oh, the keeper was way off his line and left the whole backside of the goal wide open. I'd like to get a win, of course, outright. But if we get a draw on the road, that would be okay. Oh, that was 
Brutal. That was not good. I can't give anything there. Lunar brings it in. Martinez knocks it away. Nobody uh, nobody wanted to make a play there. What happened to you, Salazar? Why didn't we go up to try to head that ball? All right, Schoenwolf plays it over the top. Moreno can't turn on it. Kicks it into the defender. Shit. Three shots, three on target. One half chance. They got a clear cut chance. Carva Hall, yellow, third of the season. One of the bad things is I tend, with my style of play, I play a lot of attacking, and I get a lot of yellow cards. I mean, I've actually, you know, there's several times a season I'll get fined for lack of control with, you know, six or seven yellow cards. And with two, you want to pick up that ball, Alicom? That's uh, going to piss me off. God, I'm going to have to... I, I'm going to have to look at my goalkeepers. Oh, wrong club here again. And a Soro. Come on, fellas. Get creative. Inspired. Oh, hello. Oh, that's going to be a card. Second yellow for Salazar. Shit. Uh, shit, shit. Shit, shit, shit. You bastard. All right. Showing Wolf. We're going to play you back here. Uh, I am going to be a central defender, defend, just basic. Yeah, you're on cover, so that's good. And you can be there. Let's put you up on support. That way he'll come up. Um, let's make you a target man. Let's make you a poacher. Actually, let's make you a uh, target man support. Uh, we'll make you a winger on support. And a winger. A w mm. How about a defensive winger? Let's try that. Do we want to slow down? Let's go balanced. All right, that could be bad. That's actually the first red card we've had all season. Cazario. Offsides. Thank God. I thought that was another free set piece goal. Just get to the half now. Get to the half. Contreras just outside the box. Oh, you were... He drifts away from the ball instead of going to get it. That is shit. Oh, nice save by the keeper. Good tackle. You saw the defenders drifting over and left the left side wide open for the cross. Ugh. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go look at our tactics here. If we go there, right? Uh, Andrade, you're a right back. Yeah, I don't have any other central defenders right now. Pineda, left. Tackling, marking, pace, 
marking, tackling. You know what? I'm going to move you inside. I am going to sub on Carvajal. And then... Moreno. We're going to bring him... Barcelo? Barcelo can play... Right there. I like that. Not really. I'm going to go positive. Okay. Pep talk. Sympathize. Watch your step. All right. Oh, my God. A whole half to play a man down. So our guy gets thrown out of the game, and their guy just gets a warning. I think there's some favoritism going on here. Uh, no pressure. I'm lying, but Moreno. Oh, he puts it in the net. What a shot. Fourth goal of the season for Alfredo Moreno. Oh, beautiful set piece. Oh, he just bent it around and just blew the keeper over. Brilliant, brilliant play. All right, so we're playing positive. Oh, you know what I want to do here? Let's, uh, in possession, let's go to some time wasting. There we go. Do a little time wasting. Just a little. Get to the ball, Andrade. Into the keeper. I can see him botching that. Barcelo up to Moreno. D Moreno. We have two Morenos on the pitch. It's going to get confusing. Oh, he lumps it. Lunar makes the run. Good first touch. He waited too freaking long. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, bitch. Ninth goal for Villazana. Oh, set piece. My nemesis. Set pieces in 19 are shit. Because it's not just me. I, you know, I see everybody giving up bad set pieces. Unfortunately, I don't. Well, Pineda, second goal of the season. <laughs> Three away goals, too. I'm liking that. Okay, let's go. Tactics. In possession. Time wasting. Done. And... Barcelo. Four, seven, four, seven. That's all the same. Reflexes are better. I was, I was thinking about swapping out the keeper. Uh, attacking mid right. Defensive mid. You know what? I'm going to put him in. He's a he's a right back, but you know, he's still playing a defensive slot, right? So Hello, come on. There we go. All right. Martinez lumps it down the left side Pineda. We've got a guy in the middle. Head it out. Moreno gives it right back to him. Appreciate you. Castro not paying a whole lot of attention there, it appeared. Andrade. Oh, he lumps it. Lunar. 
Oh, taken down. There's the equalizer. He's got to be gone. Send him off. Tried to break our guy's leg. Second yellow. So we're on evens. Into the box. Farlacini. Oh, counter Romero on the break. He doesn't have any. Oh, he's got runners coming all over the place. Our defensive line's collapsing. Whew, that was close. Oh, man. That could have been a little more on target. Oh, a heel kick into the box. Bellasina heads it out. Lunar comes back to corral the ball. He gives it away. He gets it back. Look at the strength shown by the big man. Oh, he drops it off. Moreno, left boot, right at the keeper. <laughs> Come on, boys. Tighten up. Focused. Oh, Moreno, can he... S oh, into the wall. Oh, he drops it. Oh, nobody made the run. Moreno, Lunar, plays it back, Castro, out to Moreno, oh, he's over there on the right, there it goes, Marquez, was that knocked away by the defense? Yeah, okay, I was like, why did the ball go that way? Didn't look like anybody touched it, four minutes of stoppage time, that's an eternity, oh, go, go, Go get the fucking ball. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to be ill. No, knocked away by the keeper. What a save to knock it down. Oh, come on. Oh, God. Oh, my God, a set piece right on the edge of the box. Thank God there wasn't a penalty. Oh, my God. Heart in throat, boys. Heart in throat. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. You know what? I'm going to turn the time wasting off. Go get a... Freaking goal. All right, we only got 20 seconds, but still, we're on equal footing now. Come on, boys. There it is. That was a, that was a win. That was a win. Uh, we appreciate your efforts. Continue. All right, so let's take a quick look. Ill-tempered affair. Yeah. Salazar. Uh, we're going to issue a warning. Accepts his warning. Uh, let's finish the day. Scouting meeting. Hey, we'll be nice about him. I'm not trying to instigate any wars or anything with him. All right, so competition. So we are even. That's who we play next. Do we come back for that game? I don't think, because there's another stage, right? But only, only the top team gets promoted. We're six up on these guys with nine to play. No, 12, 12 points in the balance. Do we play them and then come back and close out with them? Or do we go ahead and just show all three games because they're playoffs? I'm inclined not to do that.
but that would be an important game, and that is the away leg. Now, let's come back for the final two, Ortiz and uh, Araceros. That's what we'll do. We'll come back for the two home games. I'll play these two off camera. Uh, and hopefully, we can pick up another six points and set ourselves up for promotion here. Now, they only want us to finish top half, which we appear on course to do. But we're going to have to beat them at least once because it doesn't look like Ortiz or Lara will beat them. All right, well, hit the like button, subscribe if you don't mind. We'll be back for the final two games of the playoff round, which hopefully will see us move on or end our season. And I don't know if there's anything else after this. So, again, first season, we'll find out together. See you next episode. Take care, guys. Bye.